I'm gonna say it. I like throwing people out there when they're doing good and GoPro Jubian. So I bought this thing and the handle, the Volta, I guess it's called. Yeah, the little record stick that this thing's sitting on. Didn't work. Like it would work with Bluetooth, but it wouldn't work with nothing else. So I called him up, or called GoPro up support. They gave me a shout back within like two minutes. Got this freaking camera back, man. Now this thing works. Thought I was gonna have to send it back. Typically everything I buy is broken. Glad it's not. We won a Milwaukee vacuum at the Lima Rodeo over the weekend. So we've been playing around with that. The only issue was it didn't come with a battery. So I ordered that off Amazon. It's now charging. So we get that thing scooted up. I mean, it'd be cool to take on the road and stuff. Clean out the truck, dog hair and everything else. Cause you can see the little dust, dirt dotter bunnies I got running around the house. But most important, y'all don't need to see my address. We're showing up here in the middle of the night. Now, for those that don't know, I started working with Empire Covers probably, heck, I think that was 2019. I got my first cover from them and they're awesome, man. Things held up for the last five summers and uh, dealing with the Florida heat, that is not an easy task, nor is it easy to build something to withstand that. It was time to kind of upgrade to a different model, different color, so on and so forth. So that's what we got. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. My big gripe about this GoPro so far, if I have to give you one, is the legs on this Volta open to the side. So if I wanted to use this as a freaking tripod, that's the angle. Uh, this little handle charges the camera simultaneously, which is, which is nice. But it's also nice to have a stable handle with everything to go on it. But it makes it a true pain in my ass in trying to record these videos. Get out of this messy room. I'm going to put you on another little, uh, this is an old little handle, Coleman handle. A little 360 view of the living room. Now this thing's like 12 feet tall. Let's get the Milwaukee box out of the way. A little... A little sun in here, man. Let's get the lighting right. I don't know what I don't know what they sent me. Honestly, God, I know it's a I know it's a cover. So I need a new boat cover. I don't know what color, model, any of that. So this is gonna be a live little reaction. We are going to don't mind this view. I hope it's good. You know, the TV in the background kind of boring, but lighting's probably on par. We're also gonna take it out there, um, and I'm eventually going to do like a full out. I'm gonna show you my old cover. Josh is awesome, guys. Kind of the guy that brought me on with Empire. So we got some hats in here. Pretty cool. Cover wise, the bag's nice. I kept the other bag for a while. So I, when I lived up in North Florida, I went to Lake Seminole a lot. I like keeping the uh, boat covered. That's what we got here. So this cover here is their new Made in USA edition. This is in like a navy dark blue. Live in Florida my whole life. Obviously UVs, rays are a big concern, especially coming with boats with uh, not only your seats, but the carpet, but your gel coat as well, man. The UV will eat a gel coat up in like two years. So having a good cover is literally imperative if you're buying a boat in Florida. Outside of just the freaking sun beat down on it all year, is the weather, man. They're coming in another month or so. In the line of work that I'm in, storm season's a big deal. And being the sun, the rain, the wind, just the constant barrage of weather that we're about to have in a month, you gotta have a good cover. So this is probably the best state to really honestly give you a good in-depth of water protection, wind protection, just straight up damage control to your boat. So we decided to throw this thing on there. We're gonna go out there. I'm gonna show you the old cover I have. Like it says, better part of five years old. And it's been through three different freaking hurricanes. Um, the tree falling on it. Like the, the thing's been through the damn ringer. And yeah, Empire was nice enough to send me these covers, but I can't say more than enough good things for these guys, really. The, the covers are impeccable. You're not gonna go broke trying to buy one and you're not gonna wait three and a half months for them to make you one. You send them your boat, dimensions, model, year, all that good stuff, and they'll get you right in a good fit and the perfect cover for you. So enough with the yap and let's take these straps out and uh, get this thing going. Well, for starters, this thing's freaking badass. One battery lasted me. I was able to do the entire carpet. This was covered in leaves. I haven't had the boat covered um, since Saturday. I've got all this on my property. So it's not like a perfect detail, but by God, this is about as clean as I ever want it and look for because when you're doing 75 across the leg, a lot of leaves blow out anyways. Badass little vacuum, I'll give them that for battery powered. Here's my old one, old ragged. So like I said, she's 
I've had it off, just taped, patched, faded, beaten and battered. Still holding on. One thing I liked about this a lot was the double material with the, the straps and then it had this soft kind of velvet material underneath. It was soft on the boat. You can see, I mean, this thing took years of just abuse and even just patched with Gorilla Tape, man, still had to go. It said rats got to me when I lived up in North Florida. Uh, so this one's a little lighter, but same venting material, venting spots, straps and everything. So we're gonna throw this onto the boat, get it covered. And like I said, we're gonna do its own little video. This was just kind of like first impression, uh, part of the little daily vlog. So let's get this thing going. So that's it. Beautiful coverage. Um, this is just with both pedestal seats up. So I normally don't have the front or the back pedestal seats on, um, but as you can see, it gives me height on the boat able to allow water to bead and run off the side without puddling uh, and then this mark here is a graph so that actually pushes in a little bit and uh man it sticks out perfect for it goes right along the gunnels nice and tight um this can be traveled like this if i wanted to don't typically do it that way like i said when i was going up to north florida um, I just think it causes premature wear, um, but this is just as tight as this one is, man, we'll probably be, be good with it. This one's definitely lighter than my old Empire cover was. Like I said, it had this, this nice vinyl or uh, velvet material on it. So, and the underside of this one's that, basically the underside of this cover is smooth. Like I said, I've got no complaints on it, man. Held up great. I expect nothing less out of this cover these are not from empire these are actually things that i got aftermarket um, covering the outboard and my talons just to protect them i mean like i said uv storms and everything else not to mention just all the countless bs that drops out of these trees out here so like i said this just short and sweet just kind of show you um, check out empire covers if you're in the market for something for your boat the summer months approaching, man. It's, it's time to get your orders in and, and get stuff like this and get your boat, RV, motorcycle, grills, anything protected from the elements. So happy to have that on there. So a huge shout out to not only Josh and Empire Covers, but the whole gang over there. They're awesome. Top notch, man. Five stars. Just think, old girl. No, I get out of this. <laughs> Coming over this Empire, we're going to try and make a little four or five minute video of it, um, strapping down everything else. So. All right, so I've taken the GoPro out of the case just to kind of wrap up this video. I'm curious what it sounds like without the external mic, everything else. Appreciate y'all tuning in for another Bass All Year video, man. We are going to have a ton of stuff coming out. Got some awesome fishing videos that we got to push out. Got a couple different review videos to push out, as always. We've got the vlog of this old guy on the wall. We've got some other stuff going on. Man, we really got to get some videos out to you. So be sure to hit that subscribe, get those notifications on. This channel's a big blast. We always do a ton of fun stuff on here. I'd love to be around with y'all. Hit up the Instagram page there, Bass All Year Fishing on Instagram. A lot of behind the scenes stuff, a lot of live stuff, giveaways, everything else. So until next time, get out there, be safe, catch you some big old fish, and we'll catch you right back here on the Bass All Year channel. See y'all.